Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from the Laws of Attraction in Action. And that's the Laws of Attraction in Action.com and of course the Facebook group. I invite you to join us there where you can see Facebook Live things that I do, videos that I suggest that you watch. And um, let me phrase it this way, coming, coming um, in 2018, I am looking for a more, or I will be, offering a more integrative approach to you and you utilizing the universal laws, plural, of attraction. And while I say that, it is the laws, guys. It is the laws. It's not the law of attraction. And why many people have hmm, such difficulty with using the law of attraction is because they are unaware that it is the laws. And there are so, so many laws. In actual fact, as Florence Scrovel Shin, the author of The Game of Life, put it, and that's one of my mentors. I have mentors that are alive and I have mentors that have made their transition years ago. Year, actually, she was in the 1800s or what have you. So um, Florence Scrovel Shin, she, she says, every time we open our mouths, we are creating laws for ourselves. And for any of you who've watched any of the tutorials that I've done, on the power of your spoken word, you can see where this is true. You speak things into existence. So that being said, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are actually talking about how versus what. And today, this is what this brief tutorial is gonna be about. I actually thought I had done a tutorial on this and as I looked through my archives, I realized I hadn't. And it's something that's really important. It's really very simple but it's really very, very important. It's relevant to you being able to have clarity around getting what you want. And not only that, knowing how to use the laws. Knowing how to use the laws. And hear the word, how to. How to and what do are two totally different things. So guys, welcome. And once again, my name is Dr. Wendy Dearborn. And on the flip side, we're going to be talking about how versus what you and the universal laws of attraction and getting what you want. Okay, guys, so we're back. How versus what? How? How is something that is external to you? And for those of you who actually follow my work, you know that I'm always saying that your life is an internal job, an inside job with an external manifestation. Well, the word how is very extrinsic. How do I do this? How do I do that? How do I get here? How do I get there? It's about information telling you how to do something based on past experience. That's whether it's your experience or somebody else's experience. And in life, how has some really valid points. You know, how do I climb down from the face of this mountain? How do I actually work on, you know, uh, a, an electric outlet without shocking myself? How do, it, has a re, it has relevance in our life. But when you are trying to create something in your life, when you are trying to uh, manifest something in, in your life, how can be very unhelpful? Because again, it's extrinsic. And what I mean by that, how is a word that looks at things that have happened in your past. Now, when you're trying to manifest something new in your life, whether it be a love interest, whether it be a home, whether it be your health, whether it be whatever it is, you know, um, Whatever it is, whatever you try, a car, whatever you're trying to manifest, how is not going to help you. And it's not going to help you guys because you will try to use past experiences to create a solution for what you're wanting. And in this instance, it's very, very unhelpful. There's a picture, there's a picture, and I, I'm going to insert the picture, and it has this little big head man, which his head's really big, and he's sitting there, and he's holding his hand in his head, and he's talking about, as you can see here, 
there's money on top of the uh, on top of the the cube and he's saying to himself you know how how do i get to the money well you see when he's sitting there saying how do i get to the money he's using all his past experiences to figure out how can i get up there when there's no ladder there's no nothing there's absolute how can i get up there and get the money well as you can see from the actual you know the the this image if he had changed his internal dialogue with himself he would have done something totally different he would have done something totally and utterly different you see as i said before your life is an inside job with an external manifestation and because we see everything outside we think that our lives are an external an external thing with an internal manifestation and it doesn't work that way it goes you go from the inside out not the outside in and so for our cube man sitting there if he had asked the question what which is an intrinsic question what does it look like for me to be able to get this money he could start a whole new dialogue with self and not only that he opens himself up to the universal source known to me as god he opens himself up to his intuition or his higher mind the small voice within the quiet voice within the still small voice he opens himself up to hearing information that can assist and support him in achieving the goal that he wants when he asks the question what he actually invokes the universal law of imagination and this is why everything that you see out there everything that i'm wearing everything that you're wearing the 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 chair that you're sitting in the car you know from the smallest thing from a paper clip to a thumbtack somebody asks what would it look like if i could pin something on the wall and it stay there bam they asked what when you ask what you are giving the universal source permission to implant or drop information into your mind or your imagination as it were so that you can start a process that will allow you to find your him clearly your solutions to your to your to your to your problems and your answers to your questions you see everything that you need is is within you and this is a fundamental belief that i have everything that you need is within you and this is how i treat my clients this is how actually this is how i treat everybody including myself this is how i live life within you are the answers to your questions within you are the solutions to your problems and dilemmas they're not external to you that's a how so how versus what when you are using the universal laws of attraction what you should be doing what you should be doing is talking about the 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 what that's what you want to talk about the what you don't need the how you don't want to talk about the how in this instance how is very beneficial in your life but it doesn't allow the universal source the universal creator known to me as god it doesn't allow god to give you the information that you need so you can make a choice so let me just say this guys understand clearly many people are of the opinion that um god or whom whomever your chosen deity is that whomever your chosen deity is makes choices for you and that just doesn't happen the universal creator known to me as god who resides within me shows me 
multiple pathways, gives me multiple opportunities, shows me so that I can then make a choice. You are responsible for you. You are responsible for the choices that you make because only you can answer for you. Nobody answers for you. And for those of you who are biblically inclined, it states that in scripture that Christ can only in intercede for you up until a certain point. And thereafter, you have to answer for self. So this is why it is so important to ask yourself the right questions. What? What? So guys, um, I just scribbled all over the board, but what you want to ask yourself is, actually, I, what you want to ask yourself is simply this. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? What does it taste like? What does it smell like? Um, did I get all the five senses? What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like? What does it smell like? What does it sound like? Ask yourself these questions. They're, they're intrinsic questions. You, you say that you want to be a multimillionaire. What does that look like to you? What does that feel like to you? What does that sound like? What does that taste like? What does a multimillionaire smell like to you? You see, if you go here and you ask yourself, if you go here and you ask yourself, how does a millionaire look? How does a millionaire smell? How does a millionaire taste? How do, you do, it, doesn't even, it doesn't even flow right. It doesn't, you will start trying to figure out based on your past experience, which actually may be a limited experience, what all this means. You see, using the universal laws of attraction truly isn't about your past experience. It's about you and the new experiences that you are going to have. Understanding the nuance between how versus what. As I started saying before, as I started out before, the difference and understanding the nuance and implementing it is the difference between you getting what you want in life and you struggling to get what you want. This also, as I, as I talk frequently, I've got a few notes here, guys. This also lends itself to you understanding your role in the manifestation process. And I know that I've done this one before. It's really important that you understand your role in the manifestation process. And your role is simply this. Know with clarity what you want. Know with clarity what you want. You know, how many of you have had children or people come up to you, even if, you know, wherever you are, you know, you've got kids or you, you're working and people come up to you and they're like, oh, oh I don't know. Uh, how can I help you? You know, you got, you, the, the little ones, they open the fridge and they're like, uh, uh, no, use, as my girlfriends used to tell our kids, use your words, use your words. You know, tell me what you want so that I am able to facilitate that for you. You know, as, as they say in the metaphysical world, you know, you don't go into a restaurant and um, you sit there and can I help you and say nothing. You're not gonna get any food. You're not gonna get any food. But know your role in this process. You need to know what it is that you want. If you don't know what it is that you want, how do you expect? the creator known to me as God, to give it to you. You need to know what you want. So as I was saying, you need to know your role in this process. If you don't know your role in this process, it's not going to happen for you. The how is not your business. The how is not your business. Because if you knew the how, the what wouldn't matter. The how is God's business. How is not your business. What is your business? But what we do is we get caught up in the how. 
How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to do this? How am I going to get this? How, da, da, da. how, 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 how? How's not your business? Stay in your lane. You need to stay in the what lane. God is in the how lane. You see, God is all about you being able to manifest what it is that you want. God is the creator of the manifestation process. You, you start the process. God creates and brings it back to you. It's simple. When you understand that, it's simple. So you need to know the what and allow God to do the how. You need to know the what and allow God to, God to do the how. God does the how, you do the what. It's as simple as that. If you could do the what, darling, we'd be cloning, we'd be doing all sorts of things that we wouldn't, be able, we wouldn't believe that we were able to do. If we knew the how. As I did in one of the, the, the previous tutorials or one of the tutorials that are coming up, if you knew the how, you'd be able to know how a seed really bursts forth and grows into a plant. If you knew the how, you would truly understand and be able to replicate how an egg and a sperm would grow into a human being. You, you know how to do that. But you don't. They play at it, but they don't. So know your role in the process. What versus how in the universal laws of attraction? How's extrinsic? That means it's outside of you. And if we, we take it to that level, it's outside of you in regard to, it's outside of your realm. It's outside of your realm of possibility. But it doesn't prevent you when you know what. What? It doesn't present, prevent you when you know what for that possibility to come into manifestation in your life. Understand your role. Understand totally and utterly your role in the manifestation process. How versus what. When you ask what, again, you open yourself up so the universal creator known to me as God can impart inside of you information in the form of either your intuition or your imagination. It all starts for me in your imagination. I'm going to back that up. When you ask what, you open and invoke, you invoke the universal law of your imagination. Your imagination is then in tune with the universal source known to me as God. That's all you need, your imagination to be invoked, to be open, so the universal source can flood your imagination with all sorts of possibilities. And it is from there that you get to choose a possibility. Something that feels right. Something that feels right. You may never have done it before. You might not even know how to do whatever it is that comes into your head. You sometimes left thinking, how did I think that? Well, it's because you invoke the universal law of imagination and the universal creator, known to me as God, was able to give you information, pertinent information that will allow you to, to, that will allow you to have the solution or the answers to the problems and questions that you have. So guys, know your role. You're about what? What gives you clarity? The clearer you are, the clearer the universal creator, the how is. Know your role. What versus how? You're the what. God, the universal creator, or whoever your chosen deity is, is the how. So that's what I wanted to share with you today, guys. I hope that's clear for you. Again, um, if you look at, if you uh, rewind and look at the man sitting, holding his head, you will literally see, if he had asked himself what, he would have seen the ladder. He would have seen the ladder around the corner of which he could climb up and claim his prize. That's what you may 
need to do for you and the things that you are trying to bring into your life. I would say this, as in all things, just because I'm saying it doesn't mean it's so. Make sure you do your own due diligence, guys. It's so important that you do your own due diligence. Make sure it feels right. There are a thousand things out there. There are a million things out there that are for you. This might not be it, or this could well be it. If this isn't it, don't stop looking. Do your own due diligence, and then weave it into the tapestry of who you are, because we're all unique. All tapestries are different. So you weave it in, and you use it. How versus what? No contest. There's no contest, seriously. What is what? How is how? Know your role. Know what it is that you want, so a universal creator, known to me as God, can assist and support you in the manifestation, in the creation process of it. So on that note, guys, please make sure that you join me on the Laws of Attraction in Action. Um, that's .com. And, of course, the Laws of Attraction in Action, the Facebook group. I do live, live things, live talks. And until such time, until next time, guys, keep doing what you're doing. And remember, it's the laws, plural, of attraction and not the law. Until next time, guys, peace.